Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here to show you the Intel Compute Stick. If you're unfamiliar with the Compute Stick, it's basically an entire PC shoved into an enclosure not much bigger than a high performance thumb drive. So inside this plastic enclosure is a quad core Intel Atom Z3735F quad core processor, runs at 1.33 gigahertz base clock. 2 gigabytes of RAM that's soldered on board in a single channel configuration. It's got built in Intel HD graphics and 32 gigs of internal storage. Now, this particular version is running Windows 8.1 with Bing, but there's also an Ubuntu version with 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage on the way. There's not much happening on the outside of the compute stick. So, we've got this large Intel inside logo here flanked by a few air vents. There's a power LED indicator right up here. On the bottom is an HDMI connector. Now, the compute stick is meant to plug right into a display and turn it into a basic PC. On this side, we have another air vent and a micro SD expansion slot. Although there's 32 gigs of internal storage, this slot supports expansion cards up to 128 gigs. Nothing happening here. The bottom just has a couple of stickers. And on this side, we have a security port, a full-sized USB port, another air vent, and the power button. This micro USB port here, we should mention, is for power. This is not for connecting peripherals. Although the compute stick connects right to a display through HDMI, it does not get power through this port. It needs power to be supplied through this micro USB connector to function. There are a handful of accessories included with the compute stick as well. So if the device's enclosure is too wide to fit into the HDMI port on your display, there's a short HDMI extension cable included. You've got a basic USB power adapter here, a full-size USB to micro USB cable, and these are a bunch of different connectors for this power adapter to support different regions around the world. The version of the compute stick we're looking at is running Windows 8.1 with Bing, so we thought you'd show you around for just a moment. It's basically like any other PC. Performance is a little lower because it's running only an Atom quad-core processor and 2 gigs of RAM. But let me jump to the desktop here, bring up the hot hardware site. So scrolling on the device and browsing the web is no problem at all. Forgive me if I'm a little slow, I'm using a tiny handheld HTPC keyboard here. Let me click a story. So as you can see, not the speediest little device, but not bad at all for browsing the web. And here's a quick shot of some 1080p video playing back on the Intel Compute Stick. So let me start this up. This is the Star Wars Battlefront trailer, and I will expand it to full screen and turn up the audio. So as you can see, 1080p video streamed from the web. We also tried a bunch of local content and streaming from a NAS on our local network. Absolutely no problems at all playing back on the device. Here's a bit more video playing back on the Intel Compute Stick. Now this is the Age of Ultron trailer in 4K playing on a 1080p television. It just scaled to full screen. So as you can see, still smooth, no problems. Let me turn the volume up again. So we also tried remote desktoping into other PCs and even tried Steam's in-home streaming, streaming games from a gaming PC, and it all worked without a problem on the compute stick. We should mention though, the built-in wireless isn't ideal for Steam in-home streaming, so you're probably better off using a wired USB dongle or getting a uh, 802.11 AC adapter. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the Intel Compute Stick. This particular version running Windows 8.1 is going to be available for $149. The Linux version with less storage and RAM should be available for about 100 bucks. If you want more information, please stop by Hot Hardware for the full review. 
And once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.